Switching gears now, let's talk about Wall Street. Some numbers are in on the job front. Let's go to Jeff Stern for the latest on that. Hey, hi, Jeff. How are you, Ray? Good. You're right. The numbers came out for November and 228,000 new jobs. That brings it up about 2 million for the year. Very impressive. Unemployment stayed steady, 4.1%. And even wage growth grew just a little bit, 0.2%. We know the 10-year Treasury is still trading around that 2.38% percent as well as the oil has moved up and down but right now it's about fifty seven dollars a barrel government's not going to shut down they're going to stay working for two more weeks at least so we'll see how that goes woke up this morning the futures were negative or were positive let's see how we're currently trading the dow jones industrial average twenty four thousand two hundred ninety three up eighty two points over a quarter of a percent nasdaq's positive as well up forty four points trading at six thousand eight hundred fifty six up over half a percent. S&P positive as well, 2,648, up 11 points, 0.43 in the positive. More uh, headlines these days, Jeff, about the currency called Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin uh, making some traction now? It's been making a lot of traction and the headlines all over. According to the SEC, it's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer virtual currency. It can be exchanged for traditional currency or purchasing goods and services. A big difference, though, is there's no central authority or bank and it's not backed by any government. The key, actually, to Bitcoin is the technology called blockchain, which is a string or list of data residing across a peer-to-peer -peer network of individual computers and networks without any central authority or gatekeeper. The big benefits include decentralization, as we mentioned, transparency, trusted, secure, automated. There's much more detail info. I'm more than happy to share, although it is pretty technical. So right now, we just want to know that the chain is actually the technology, and we think that is the future. It's many, many more than just currency, healthcare records, government records, financial services. It's really a pretty cool thing going on. As far as Bitcoin, you could have bought it under a thousand dollars per Bitcoin in January. Yesterday, it traded around seventeen thousand dollars, and Dre was down about thirty-five thousand today, or thirty-five hundred, excuse me. So it's pretty risky. I'm pretty conservative. I know you are as well. But if you do decide to buy it, make sure you have an out as well. No uh, one to sell. An old expression, risk and reward are tightly tied, Jeff. Yes, especially with Bitcoin. All right, have a good weekend. Enjoy yours.